Hey everybody, um, happy 2012. Um, so, my animals are going crazy right now. So I wanted to uh, make this video, uh, tell you guys about this, um, I guess, dream that I had last night. Um, and um, before I tell you about it, um, when I was younger, um, and it has not happened, and well, yeah, I know I say when I was younger a lot, but some of the when I say any time before now, um, I uh, used to have you know like night terrors pretty bad and um, uh, dreams within dreams uh, or false awakenings. Um, you know, I had some times when I would wake up with, um, but I would see like a black figure over me and uh, like holding me down or whatever. And that was back when, you know, I was like really depressed and whatever and dealing with, you know, personal demons and, and you know, sadness and uh, pain and all that. Um, but for a while, I have not experienced any kind of like, say, false awakening. Now I have like say a dream within a dream, um, but not necessarily a, fall, a false awakening uh, involved with that. Um, you know, a false awakening uh, for those that don't maybe know um, is basically just when you're dreaming and you think you wake up but you're still dreaming and um, maybe sometimes you don't realize that you're still dreaming, you think you're actually awake and um, and then something happens where you're like, oh shit, I'm still dreaming. Um, and I, I believe that this uh, also that can uh, be considered uh, an out-of-body experience. I believe all dreaming is out-of-body experience. Um, you know, sometimes uh, we're in this just imaginary world. Sometimes we're in a past life or a past even memory. Um, Oftentimes I have dreams where I'm like I'm in a movie or a TV show. I, that's a pretty common, you know, thing to dream with, that you're in a movie. Um, but um, I used to quite frequently have uh, false awakenings or dreams within dreams. Um, and these false awakenings would be scary and not so much. Uh, it's funny. <laughs> this is going to be a little scattered. I'm sure um, it's kind of funny to me um, when I speak to people or not even just speak to people when I talk to people about certain things I tend to sometimes experience what they're experiencing um, I, I believe that kind of goes with my empathetic nature uh, personality where um, say if somebody is having a hard time I can feel I feel their pain or if somebody tells me you know about a certain um, a dream situation and whatnot, um, I can, ex I will, uh, say, have a similar dream. Uh, sometimes, uh, you know, uh, when I become very close to somebody, um, we'll have very similar, if not the same dreams I had, uh, at one point, um, I think last year, uh, my neighbor's son, who became like a brother to me, you know, a little brother, um, we began having the same dreams. He would wake up and be like, oh my gosh, Danny, let me tell you about this dream I had. And I'm like, that's so weird. Check this picture out, you know, hold up a fucking picture that I drew of a dream that I had. And it would be what he was describing or, or uh, he would be telling me the um, how the dream would play out. And I'm like, that is so weird because, you know, I had a very similar dream. Uh, a couple times uh, we actually... I do believe, and you know, some people may think this is a little far-fetched, but kind of like the movie Dreamscape, uh, we actually were in the same dream, and it's possible. I believe it's possible, and especially those that practice, uh, say, astral projection or lucid dreaming know that it's possible, per have probably experienced, um, you know, of course, you always are supposed to have permission, um, and sometimes it's uh, your highest selves. Uh, are the ones that talk this out, if you will. Um, and uh, but like I said, um, you know, sometimes I will experience what other people are experiencing. So it's interesting. Um, one of my uh, YouTube subscribers, and um, I consider him a friend, even though we've never met. Um, Neptunium Forest, I think. Uh, there might be some numbers in that. Um, 
Uh, and I, you know what, I have to say, I'm very, very sorry, but I don't actually know your name, and I know that you'll watch this, so um, comment me your name. I'm horrible with names, so I'm sure you have had put made videos where you said it and so on, um, but I'm horrible with names. Uh, faces I'll remember for my entire life, um, even if I meet you once, but names, not so much, so I'm very sorry. Please don't hate me for not knowing your name. Um, but um, like I said, we're YouTube friends, and he had um, posted a video very recently about out of his uh, an out of body experience he just recently um, experienced. And before that, he posted dreams about sleep paralysis, and I gave him some advice about what I know about sleep paralysis. And um, I'm going to hold this. Um, about what I experienced from sleep paralysis. And um, so last night, kind of, God, that looks so calm. I'm gonna shine a light up in my face. <laughs> oh, that looks crazy. Maybe I won't be doing that. Let's see. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Feeling a little goofy. Um, I guess I'll just hold it. I look better this way. Um, anyway, so, um, and then, um, and I won't go into too many details about this other situation with a new friend, but um, she's been experiencing some, uh, well, what uh, she believes to be a haunting uh, in her house. And, um, but uh, according to her, that is not the first time, the first place that she's lived that she's experienced these things. So, um, me having experience with these things, I, you know, gave her what I told her what I know. Um, you know, I have a uh, encyclopedia of angels, encyclopedia uh, of demonology, and I'm no way consider myself demonologist or any by any means. And I don't think that necessarily a demon is um, harassing her. But you know, I pulled out um, my encyclopedia of angels and referred her to uh, you know Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, also is used to bless the house, uh, bless yourself, bless your mind, so on and so forth. Well, we discussed, um, you know, asked her what exactly she was experiencing and um, things like that. So that all being said, with uh, that little bit of knowledge of that's what's fresh in my mind from the past week um, or weekend. Um, last night, um, before I went to bed, we were watching, my husband and I were watching, uh, first we watched Avatar, I love that movie, I don't care what anybody says about it being a knockoff of Pocahontas, it's a beautiful movie, and um, I love Zoe Saldana, and, um, and Sam Worthington, so, um, <laughs> and I even love uh, Giovanni Ribisi's character, because you, you want, you want, oh, I won't, sorry, <laughs> I get so sidetracked when I talk about movies, um, we watched Avatar, and then we watched Star Wars, um, episode two. Which is like one of my, of the, of the one, two, and three episodes. Episode two is my favorite. Um, I don't know why, but um, I also like episode three because that's when we meet Darth Vader. Um, so anyways, I had, um, you know, that all fresh in my mind. And so um, I, you know, we went to bed after we finished watching the movie, um, Star Wars, and um Basically, I had this, I guess, dream that was um, interesting. Um, in my dream, I was uh, laying on the like the couch, and my husband was for some reason there was the it was like I was on the couch, and then my husband was in front of me sitting on something which we don't actually have anything in front of the couch to sit on. It's just the television. And quick note, very sorry if this is long, and I hope I don't bore you guys to death. Um, but, um, so I'm sitting on the couch and, um, like, on my phone, and then I feel something, um, say, take control, start to try to take control of me. Almost like a telepathic kind of thing, I'm going to take control of you. And I didn't want it to happen, so I started to try to ask him for help and uh, that's my husband and I couldn't speak and um, and so instantly I realized I was dreaming for a moment I realized I was dream you know at that moment that I couldn't move I couldn't speak to Ken 
Um, but I was on the couch and there was actually Star Wars on in the background. And um, so I remember thinking almost, like I said, a telepathic kind of communication with this uh, force that was trying to, that felt negative, that was trying to come over me. And I told him, you know, this force, you're not going to take control of me and I'm going to wake up. And so I woke up. Well, then I'm back on the couch and I'm in the same, it's the same scenario again. And, um, and this time the force was more aggressive, basically like, no, I'm going to take control of you. And I remember trying to look, I can look at my husband, but I uh, couldn't move my mouth. I couldn't speak. And, oh, my, uh, my lights just flickered again. <laughs> It's raining outside, so I think that has something to do with it. Um, we lose electricity here sometimes. Hold on one sec. Oh, everything's on. Anyways. Oh, jeez. Um, <laughs> and um, I began to realize that I was asleep, and I was dreaming, and I started to try to wake up, except this time... Um, Okay, I'm gonna have to finish this in one sec. I'll upload, I'll upload like two videos. Okay, hold on one sec.